Hi, and welcome back. In part two of this series, we'll use the application we launched with AWS Elastic Beanstalk in the first video. In this video, we assume that you watched the first video, successfully ran the sample application in Elastic Beanstalk, and that your environment and application is green. In the Elastic Beanstalk Management Console, I find my application that I launched in the first video is green and ready to use. I open the application by clicking the URL in the environment page. The sample application has a few inactive links, but it does have an active sign-up link. Click this link to reveal the form. When your customer submits this form, the application stores that entry in DynamoDB and publishes a notification or message to the Simple Notification Service. I would like to receive those SNS notifications in my inbox. I'll quickly navigate to the SNS Management Console find the SNS topic that my application created, and subscribe my email address. I confirm the subscription and will receive notifications whenever a customer fills out that form and a message is published. Let's go back to the application and submit the form as a customer would. The user received a confirmation in the web page, and I'll pop into my inbox and find the notification of their submission. Cool. Let's look in the DynamoDB Management Console for the record of that submission. Select the table and click Explore. We see the app has stored the user's name, their email address, and whether or not they want preview access to our cool new product. We'll come back close to product launch time, scan this table programmatically, and send everyone who has signed up an email. There's one final field here, theme. It turns out that the app we wrote recognizes an environment variable named theme. Elastic Beanstalk allows us to set and change environment variables from within the management console, making it simple to change the look and feel of our application page with just a few clicks. In the management console, I choose the configuration link for my environment and find the theme entry. The readme in the GitHub source documents available themes. I'll change the value to Slate and click Apply. Elastic Beanstalk takes care of restarting the web server process on each instance, and my application quickly responds with an updated theme. Looking at the application source, I see that my controller looks for the theme variable, passes it to the template, and the template chooses the CSS file to reference accordingly. In part three of this series, we'll take a closer look at the application configuration, answering a question that you may be asking. Specifically, where did the DynamoDB table and SNS topic come from? How were they created? And how does the application know they are there? Please join us in part three for more. Thank you.